Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Today I'm going to show you some of my 2018 holdback locality boas. So these are animals I selected to keep and to grow up as future breeders so they represent the best of what I'm looking to produce. I thought this would be useful for some of you guys since I have some of the same exact pairings going on in 2020 and this will show you some of the babies that I hope to get later this year. They should look pretty similar to these babies since they're full siblings. It also might be helpful for those of you who are wondering what a two-year-old boa constrictor looks like in terms of size. So this will show you the size of boas that are not quite two years old given my slow growth feeding regimen. To start with, this is a 2018 holdback Suriname boa constrictor constrictor true red tail boa. This is a female and she's produced from a combination of the Florida red tails and the Fudo bloodlines. And just a really beautiful classic looking red tail. You can see she's got these really nice symmetrical peak saddles. This nice light pinkish caramel coloration. And just a really, really long bright red tail. Just a beautiful animal. And this one will be uh, two years old in August. You can see she's still kind of small. She's maybe three feet long. And you can also see how she's got this classic uh, kind of flattened, almost like a loaf of bread shape, kind of square and flattened. Definitely not round. You know, definitely not, doesn't look like a sausage. Her head doesn't look tiny. So this is the proper size for a red tail that's not quite two years old. And I feed her about once every two weeks. Right now she's getting an adult size mouse. She'll probably move up to a small rat um, the end of this year, maybe next year. But you definitely don't want to hurry these guys. But I look forward to this one when she reaches breeding size, although it's probably going to be another uh, four years or so uh, for this red tail. You know, 2018 wasn't a great year for me for BCC. I really didn't produce too many. And this is the only one that I held back. And I thought I'd do some outdoor shooting today to mix things up a bit since it's a nice warm spring day. Here she is just chilling out on top of a piece of cork bark. You can see she's uh, quite confident. As long as the BCC has something rough to hold on to, it's not going to try to get away. Just a beautiful boa. Looking forward to watching her grow up over the next few years. Next we have this holdback male 2018 Hog Island boa. And these are pure Sears line Hog Island boas. The adults came from Vin Russo. And they have that beautiful classic look. The faded coloration, the nice speckling, lots of pink and orange, and even a little bit of a green overtone to their scales. So Hog Island boas, as I've mentioned many times, are one of my all-time favorite locality boas. And I believe they have a place in every serious locality boa collector's uh, collection. The mother of this animal is pregnant right now with some hopefully little brothers and sisters that hopefully will be on the ground in about two months or so. So if you've been thinking about getting a hog island boa, this is what those babies could look like when they're about two years old. And the size is maybe about three feet long or so. This guy also eats every other week a adult mouse. And here's a real nice holdback female 2018 Hog Island Boa. Thought I'd give her a little chance to go outside and climb up in this tree on a nice spring day. Hopefully she'll move around a bit so you can see some of her graceful serpentine motions, although she's just kind of chilling out right now. Um, so these are pure Sears line, lots of beautiful pink and orange coloration. And I have a female, their mother, who's gravid right now with hopefully some full siblings to these two and with, uh, uh, if all things go smoothly I should have a, another litter of these on the ground in about two months or so. This is a Honduran Firebelly Boa which is a rare locality boa that I was super happy to produce in 2018 and these are said to come from an island called the island of Roatan off of the coast of Honduras although it's not entirely clear if that's true or if they're just mainland Honduran boas which have been bred selectively for this beautiful orangish uh, pink belly coloration. But um, whatever they are, they're a really cool, very unique looking boa with this short 
stubby head and these prominent reddish brown eyes. And this female I held back because she has a reduced pattern. Um, just a you know beautiful looking animal. One of the things I've noticed with her is that she's a little bit hissy. Her mother is actually one of my, my most aggressive adult boas and she was in a video I did recently about handling my most aggressive boas. And she seems to be a little bit hissy, although she's behaving herself right now. Uh, here, interestingly, the other two I held back from this litter, they're not nearly as uh, hissy or aggressive as this one. And here's a holdback male, Honduran fire belly boa. Got him outside to hopefully show you some of his beautiful reddish belly coloration. Hopefully he'll cooperate and move around a bit for us. So these are a, a rare locality bow. I didn't, I'm not producing any of these this year, but hopefully next year I'll have a litter if things go well. And these have this beautiful orangish belly color. This guy, as you can see, he's mostly patternless. He's got no saddles on his neck or towards his tail, just about eight saddles in the middle of his body. And then he also shows you the nice prominent eyes on these guys. They have these big reddish brown eyes and these short little stumpy heads. Just a very beautiful and distinctive looking locality boa, the hunter and fire belly. The last 2018 holdback boas I want to share with you guys are some Tarahumara Mountain Dwarf boas. And as you probably heard me say before, these are another all-time favorite locality boa of mine. They're a great dwarf boa that only gets to about four feet long or so at adult size. And so you can see this one, you can, the, uh, the beautiful dark colors and the rich chocolate and mocha tones with all of this iridescence and pink and even a little blue and green uh, scales in there. So just a gorgeous looking animal, both the pattern and color. And I have a pairing right now that's the, both parents of this one are paired up. And although I've produced Tarahumara boas the last three years in a row, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to get them this year. It doesn't look like the female's pregnant as of now. And typically they're pregnant by now. So I'll just have to see. Um, I know some, a lot of you guys have been asking about the Tarahumaras and I hope to have some this year. But unfortunately, there's never any guarantees with breeding boas. But if I do get some of these and you're looking for a Tarahumara, these are some of the best that you can get. And lastly, this is a male 2018 Tarahumara Mountain Dwarf Boa. And I held this guy back because he has this really beautiful pinkish coloration. His mother has a lot of pink. And he also has this beautiful circle back pattern down his dorsal surface, similar to his mother. This guy looks a lot like his mother. Just a really beautiful boa. Look at all the pinks in this animal. You know, I don't think it really shows up on the camera, unfortunately, but this guy is just drenched in this pink color on his sides and on his belly. Just a beautiful, beautiful animal. So these guys are probably about two and a half, maybe two and three quarter feet by now. Um, they're still eaten every other week. I have them on an adult mouse. Although I'll probably go back to about every three weeks, starting later this year or early next year, since they're getting to be this a nice sub-adult size and not too far away from maturity. And I, again, I hope to have some full sibling babies to these Tutar Humara uh, sometime this summer. So those were a few of my 2018 holdback locality boas that I believe are developing really nicely. I hope this was helpful to you guys who were thinking about possibly adding a locality boa to your collection this year in terms of what I might have on the ground in a few months and what the boas look like at about two years of age. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.